EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to showcase the finest young golfers from around the globe. From the rugged Pacific coast of Oregon, it's opening round coverage in the final event before the playoffs, the Oregon Championship. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. A number of folks in contention, including our leader, There's a good start, that one in the fairway here to get the tournament rolling. Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, uh, this player very simply has the look of a winner. The bounce and the step, the smile, the ease with which they're playing this next round. Nothing like getting that first win in your hip pocket, right? You know it. Well, over the course of your career, there's a handful of things that you always remember. You remember your first win as a junior golfer. You remember your first big win as an amateur. Now, your first win as a professional sticks in your mind for the rest of your life, but this is the professional game. You've got to keep building. Now, in my book, that's a good shot. You can really aim at the middle of just about every single green. If you did it all day long, some of those would finish up close, and you'd have plenty of birdie putts. quite online and that'll drift a couple feet by. Okay, that's in for par here at the first. And she's gonna hold on here at even par. The second hole of par three measuring 220 yards. In theory, it's a straightforward, the long par three. Two bunkers left and short shouldn't be in play, but the hole does play deceivingly uphill, so a solid strike is a must. That's gonna be on the putting surface and a birdie look straight ahead. We turn to Nota Begay the third for this look at birdie. Still have to be aware of the slope coming downhill, but not a ton of break in this. Just gonna sneak on by.
That finished off for par here with the second, and she'll remain at even par. We head to the third now, our first par five at 563 yards. Bunkers appear to be scattered on either side of the fairway, so accuracy is a must. This green is definitely reachable in two, but it does run nearly 50 yards from front to back, so if your approach isn't on target, you could be left with a putt of better than 100 feet. Solid, a good drive in the fairway. Now a big spot here for something good. This is a short second to the par five. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. How about the speed here? Are you kidding? That is exceptional from that distance. That is worth a wow. Okay, nicely done. That's in for birdie here at three. Up next, we come to the par four fourth hole, which measures out at 443 yards. Beware that the rough is thick if you miss your butt. A well-placed drive rewards you with our first real look at the Pacific as you'll see that big expanse of blue and start to hear the crashing waves below. Uh, just no chance to hold the fairway there, and it bounds into the thick stuff. 
it'll take some effort from this buried line, but a chance now to still reach this green in two. All in all, that's a good shot. Anytime you hit it in the rough, it's always a little bit of a lottery. Could have even jumped out a little more and perhaps gone even closer. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a little offline, but not too bad from that far away. Okay, that one finished off. It's a par here at four. And she'll remain at one under par. We turn northward along the beach here at the 445-yard par four fifth. Like the previous hole, the landing area is a narrow one, and it doesn't get much easier from there. The green's protected by a big bunker on the right, and be careful because those onshore breezes like to push the ball that way. And that one coming in too hot, it kicks off the fairway and right into the heavy stuff. Notice down there, did you get a look at this? I did, and it's not in a good spot at all. It is really sitting down. A decision had to be made there. It was perhaps even a layup, but uh, all in all, that's a tremendous shot just to get the ball on the green from there. Mm, got it there, but not quite on target. That one finished off. It is a part here at five. And she'll stay one under for the tournament. The second part three of this front side, another long one, this sixth hole measuring out at 217 yards. That voice in your head will be telling you, don't go left, because if you do, you'll be down the cliff and onto the beach here by five mile point.
All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Now a seven footer. Ooh, that's got a little bit more movement than you think, and that'll slide on by. Okay, it's a bogey here at number six. And she's gonna fall back down to even par. We head away from the coast now due east as we come to the par four seven. A big, wide fairway should make the tee shot manageable, but from there, this three-tiered, clover-shaped green provides a lot of opportunities for three putts if that approach wedge is not dialed in. It's going to be up the left-hand side. Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. That is a fine tee shot right there. And that's going to leave some work, but it'll end up okay. A look here at birdie. And these are the putts you drill when you're on the putting green before the round. This should have a good chance to go in. Gonna scoot a foot or two by. That one finished off. It'll be a par here at seven. And her score is gonna stay right where it is. The eighth hole here at Bandon takes us back toward the ocean. It's a par four at 385 yards, so it's not a long one if you can successfully navigate or vomit over those two fairway bunkers. You could leave yourself with not much more than 50 yards or so for your approach.
that was flirting with disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. All right, not exactly what you're hoping for, but safely on the putting surface with birdie still in play. Oh, no problems at all. The pace perfect. It is in for birdie. Well, whereas the eighth was a short par four, nothing short about our closing hole here on this front side. The par five ninth topping out at 585 yards, the longest hole on the course. That said, birdie is certain not out of the equation. That is, if you can avoid the pot bunkers in the landing area off the tee. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. Really hit that second shot on the button to this par five, but Frank couldn't get it to stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Eleven feet away. Wow, just a hair off target. Those are the ones that are drive you crazy. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. Yeah, that will mean it's a front nine score of 35, one under par. The backside begins here with the par four 10th hole at 380 yards. The big hitters will feel like they can get it down there pretty close. An approach from the right side might be a bit shorter, but you'll get a better angle if you come at it from the left.
Oh, way too quick on that one. That's way right. Mm, that was close to being good, but it'll hop off the fairway and into the heavy stuff. And for a short little shot, the heavy rough certainly makes things more difficult because the rough gets between the club face and the ball. But not bad, all things considered. Tough start to the backside, Frank. Yeah, it doesn't bode well, too. You start losing confidence with the putter early on. So that's in for par to start this backside. And her score is going to stay right where it is. On to the 11th now, a par 4 at 452 yards. Best to keep it down the middle or to the right off the tee. That leads to an uphill second where you'll most likely have to take it right over that bunker that guards the front right portion of the green. Nothing to fault there, safely in the fairway. Second shot coming up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yeah, we've got 127 yards left to the hole today. And that wind, it's coming from right to left. So you might need to start this a little bit to the right-hand side. So that rushed in for par here at 11. And her score is going to stay right where it is. And they make their par threes long here at Bend and Dunes. This one, the 12th, measures out at 238 yards. This one at least is slightly downhill. Areas of concern include that hot bunker short and left, and then the thicker stuff that comes into play if you knock it over the back.
And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Strike was fine on the pitch shot. Ball first, then turf. Just wasn't really hit hard enough. Oh, she'll take that one. What a tough putt that was to salvage her par. Her score is going to stay right where it is. The rolling hills of Oregon provide the backdrop to this par 5 13th hole. At 553 yards, it is reachable in two. Big dunes in the fairway could make the stance awkward for that second shot. But a big green that measures better than 50 yards head to toe does yield a good number of eagle putts. No issues here. That is into the fairway. Now from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. That one had to feel good. Yeah, struck it so well. You could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Yeah, tough to get that all the way up the slope, but that's not too bad from there. So now eyeing this one for birdie. Just like that, it's a birdie here at 13. On a course with so many great vistas, this is visually a tough hole, this par 4 14. Look out in the fairway and you'll see pot bunkers to contend with in your landing area. If you can stay left of the danger, you will have a better look into an elongated green.
While there's good bounces, there's bad bounces. That was a good one. Foot putt left. Oh, missed it right. Just didn't have the right line. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. And she'll remain at two under. On now to the final par three on the course, the 15th, listed at 206 yards. Don't be lulled to sleep by the sound of crashing waves and seagulls. This hole can bite you, especially if you don't avoid that front right bunker, the deepest on the course. That one gonna wind up smack dab in the middle of the green. This would be a big bonus if it went in more than likely just trying to get this one close. That's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, they can't all go in. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. And her score is going to stay right where it is. Maybe the prettiest hole on the golf course, this par 4 16th. A plethora of options off the tee. Most end up deciding to see just how close to the green they can get it. Beware, though, of the ever-present Bend and Dunes pot bunkers, as well as some pretty thick gorse off to the right. This one's starting a little bit right. Ah, too strong for this hole, eh? Ran out of fairway and into the rough. Big hit, though.
Birdie putt now at 16. And this is the putt you should make seven out of 10 times. Looks to be dead straight, nothing to push it offline. Oh, straight into the cup. Well done. That's a birdie here at 16. A lot of these holes here at Bandon Dunes have big, wide landing areas. That is not the case here at the par 4 17. You'll need to thread the needle here with bunkers on either side, thick rough on the left, and a canyon to the right. But a safe drive in the fairway can yield a pretty good look at your second. I guess it got the 90% air, but that ball actually went through that tree. So after the big drive, this, a short approach to the par four. Okay, sensible play right there, and that one on deck. 17-foot putt here. Spot on. That ball somehow just decided not to go down. No problems there. That's par here at 17. And she's going to stay at minus three. So now it's on to the 18th here at Bandon Dunes. The fog starting to thicken up a bit as we reach this 558 yard par five. The big key is avoiding the bunkers off the tee. Do that, and you'll have a good chance to get out of here with a birdie or maybe even an eagle. Boy, a good round going here on this Thursday, and that another fine effort off the tee.
got every bit of that to it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Okay, I'd call that an acceptable effort from that range. Four feet, all that's left for birdie. Yeah, that's a good putt there. It's a birdie at 18. This a good position to be in after day one for our featured golfer, just a shot back and playing well. Yeah, there are thereabouts. I think that's a good uh, indicator that uh, they're certainly going to be in contention come Sunday. Till next time, for our entire cast and crew, I'm.